Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to fix out of game memory error that you're getting while you're playing Grand Theft Auto 5. This mainly happens to people that have add-on vehicles or map mods. So if you have add-on vehicles or map mods, your game config is not compatible with it and it's going to cause your game to crash and you're going to get this message right here. So I'm here to show you how to fix that problem. It's very simple, very easy. As long as you follow these steps, you won't have that message no more. So we're going to get into it. If you are new to the channel, if you do me that one favor, hit that subscribe button. Help this channel reach 100,000 subscribers. That would be so amazing. I'm going to help you by fixing your problem. So let's go ahead and get into it. This will be linked down in the description. So what you guys want to do is go ahead and pull up Open 4. So once you're inside Open 4, what you want to do is go to Edit Mode. Go ahead and click Yes. And then you want to go inside your Mods folder. You want to go to Update. Update.rpf. Go to Common go to data and stay right here so if you go in here you're going to see game config right here okay so that's the one that you want to see but don't worry about it don't click on anything just stay right here again the root to this folder is going to be right at the top right here so what we are going to do make sure you guys smash that like button for this guy for taking time out of his day to you know give us updated game configs for when rockstar comes out with updates so big shout out to f7yo but we're going to go to get into it. What you guys want to do is start off by clicking the download button right here. When you click the download button, it's going to give you the most updated one. You're going to go right here and you're going to go ahead and open it up. I used WinWar to open up my zip file. So we're going to click open file. We're going to go to GTA config. We're going to click on that folder. I'm going to go for more mods because I have tons of mods inside my game. I don't know about you guys, but if you have a lot of mods inside your game, go for more mods. I'm going to go with stock traffic and we're going to go right here to this game config. So we're going to go to open for exactly where I showed you guys to go. And again, I'll go through that one more time. All right. It says it needs to restart. I'm fine with that. Open IV just doing its thing. So we're going to go right back here. We're going to open that back up. Go to Grand Theft Auto 5. Hit Windows. Go ahead and let that open up right here. Just like that. We're going to hit edit mode. Click yes. Go mods. Update. Update.rpf. Common data and we're going to stay right here make sure edit mode is on and what we're going to do is take this game config file and we're going to drag and drop into our open four just like so perfect so that is done right there and then the next steps are very easy so we're going to go back so we're going to click backspace right here and if you go right here you're going to see this right here it says pec file and heap adjusters in fw box streamer variable so what you guys want to do is go ahead and download this one. So you're going to click download right here and go ahead and download that. So I'm going to click open file and we're going to take these three files right here. We're going to pull up our GTA five main directory. So I'm going to go to steam. I'm going to go to steam library. We'll go to grant the Auto five, right click on it, hit manage and browse local files that will pull up our GTA five main directory. And what we're going to do is take these three files right here, drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory, just like so. I'm going to replace the files in the destination, and just like that, you guys are done. So, you guys will not get this message no more. Now that you have that in there, it's going to be able to work with all your add-on vehicles and also your map mods. So, you guys are good to go. Thank you all for coming by and watching. really do appreciate it. And again, uh, anytime that Rockstar comes out with an update, make sure you guys come back to this guy's uh, page right here and you get the new game config because he does it every single time there's a new update for GTA Online, uh, which messes everything up. But every single time he is there for, a, uh, for us to have a new update for game config. But you guys are done. You are good to go. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Y'all stay blessed, stay safe out there, and we'll see you all on the next one. Peace.